Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Craft to Exile Dissonance for Minecraft. This is a really cool mod pack and we're going to be installing it in this video. First and foremost though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server playing Craft for Dissonance. Yes, you can install and set up a Craft for Exile Dissonance server on Apex Minecraft hosting in just a few clicks. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So go ahead and check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to play craft for exile dissonance with your friends nevertheless let's go ahead and get it installed in this video the first thing you want to do is download the curse forge launcher which you can find linked in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash curse forge launcher will get you here again that's the second link down below once you're here you want to click on download for windows and just like that, in the bottom left, Curse Forge will start downloading for Windows. Now we minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we do have Curse Forge installer. This is in our desktop. No worries. It's going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click on the little Windows icon. It's the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon, the top or bottom left of your screen. And then type in downloads. Hit enter on file fo downloads file folder. That was really fast. Downloads file folder here. Go ahead and click on that. And in here, you will find Curse Forge. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and double click on the Curse Forge installer on our desktop. And we'll go ahead and open up the installer for Curse Forge. Right, it's pretty simple stuff. Um, right here, boom, there it is. Curse Forge installer, powered by or on Overwolf. And then go ahead and click next. And it's going to go ahead and ask if you want to install a desktop shortcut for Curse Forge. Unfortunately, you do need to install Overwolf as well. And you don't have to, though, install a shortcut for that. We also want to agree to their terms of service there. Click on next. And it's now going to go ahead and install both Overwolf and Curse Forge. Again, you need Overwolf for Curse Forge and it installs them all at the same time. Overwolf is the company that owns, maintains, and runs Curse Forge, the launcher, the website, all that stuff. But nevertheless, as you can see here, it's now going ahead and getting everything set up, installing it, getting everything running, waiting for it, moving everything together, getting everything launching, reloading your computer. No, it's not doing that necessarily, but now there we go. It is installed and we need to get a, a helpful pop up as well on uh, like a thank you for downloading from Curse Forge there. Boom, it went ahead and opened up right like that. It said it's installed, awesome stuff. And now we can go ahead and click launch in the bottom right. If you don't have that launch button for whatever reason, you accidentally close out of it, whatever, there's this desktop icon that you can double click on as well. Now, it's gonna open up Curse Forge for the first time. And one of the cool things about Curse Forge is you don't need an account to install mod packs. On the Twitch app, which is what you used to have to use, you had to have a Twitch account. You don't on Curse Forge. It opens up and right there on the main menu, right up front, it asks you to go through a tutorial, which we're not going to do in this. We do have an in-depth guide to Curse Forge, but nevertheless, it asks you if you want to select mods. You don't have to see a login screen or anything. It's right here, and we want to click on Minecraft. When you do that, we want to go ahead and click Continue, and then it's going to install Minecraft and get it ready for Curse Forge. Now we want to go ahead and click on Browse Mod Packs, and then search for Mod Packs up here at the top. Craft uh, for Exile, right? Craft. Oh, it's not searching. What are you doing? Craft. There we go. My um, computer's lagging a little bit. Craft 4, and then hit enter, and then we should have Craft to Exile. I'm at Craft 2. I'm, I'm, Jesus, I can't believe, I'm sorry, everybody. Anyway, Craft 2, Exile, Dissonance, right there it is. As you can see, 311,000 downloads. I'm going to go ahead and click on the orange install button next to that, and it's going to go ahead and start installing. This could take a few minutes, but it will eventually install, and then it's super easy to launch it and play it. Yeah, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until this is installed, then we'll launch it, and then we'll be good to go. So there we go, Craft 2 Exile has installed. How do we know that? Because, well, the loading bar is gone, and there is a orange play button here. You could click that, but I would recommend clicking back, and then clicking on My Mod Packs, because this is where you're normally going to, you know, play Craft to Exile here. So if we go from this, and we click on Minecraft, it takes us here, and then we can click this green, or not green, sorry, orange, play button there. Um, I accidentally hit cancel, but it's still going to go ahead and open up, I think. But nevertheless... It's opening up Minecraft, uh, getting the launcher installed, getting all that set up, because this is actually ran through the default Minecraft launcher. So here we are. In the default Minecraft launcher, you want to log in with your Microsoft or Mojang. Just click on whichever one it is. Log in into your account, and you'll be good to go. There we go. We are now in the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see, we have Craft to Exile Dissonance down here automatically selected. If you don't, click on this little arrow and select it. If it's not there, just close out of the Minecraft launcher and click the orange play button again. And then it should be there. So nevertheless, as you can see, we have that selected. Now, we do need to go to Installations and click on the uh, Hover Over Craft to Exile Dissonance. Click on these three dots on the right and click on Edit. The reason we're doing that is I want to see how much RAM this has. So if we click on More Options, we can see 
see that by default, Craft Exile Dissonance has four gigabytes or 4,000 megabytes of RAM dedicated. If you do have any issues and you're getting juddering in game or, you know, it, it crashes on startup or something like that, come in here and up your RAM. But nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and leave that at four. I think that's plenty. I'm also going to change our resolution so we can see better once we get in game. Then we can come back to the play button. Make sure Craft Exile is selected there and click on the green play button. You will get this warning. Go ahead and understand the risk. You know what you're doing. Click play again. And now Craft Exile Dissonance will open up. This could take minutes to install. It takes forever for mod packs to open up, especially the first time they open up. I say that because if this is your first time playing a mod pack, you might be like, I think something's wrong. It's not. It just give it some time. Honestly, go grab dinner, come back, and your mod pack will be open. Um, you know, sometimes it usually takes about five minutes. Sometimes with some mods, I've seen it take 30 minutes to open a mod pack. So it takes a while. It's one of those time consuming processes of playing a mod pack. But nevertheless, we're just going to sit back, relax, let this open, and I will meet you kind of as the steps progress. So once this downloading is finished, I'll meet you. Whenever the, you know, mo Minecraft's opening up, I'll meet you. That, that sort of a thing as we go through this process. So as you can see, the, like a white box appeared and started loading up, and then it just reloaded there and made that white box basically bigger, opening up all of sort of the more normal Minecraft res resolution that we'll be playing with a little later. Um, as you can see, constructing 161 mods. It's going to take a while. Just expect that. If you start to seeing this get to 100%, by the way, that's an indication you might need to up your RAM. And we showed you how to do that a little earlier. So nevertheless, again, we're just going to sit here and wait. It's going to take some time, but now it is actually opening Craft to Exile. We just got to wait for it to do that. It will take a very long time. Be warned. That took a long time, but here we are. Craft to Exile Dissonance is now installed. We can jump into a quick single-player world real quick and just show you that everything is working. Um, it's not recommended to play this in creative mode, by the way, but I just always like to play in creative mode because it makes testing easier for things like this. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and do a quick jump cut. Finally, last one until we are in-game. As you can see, it is not responding. That's okay. It's going to even act like it's going to crash, like right now. It's not going to crash. It's not. It's not. Mod packs do this all the time people freak out they close out of it because they think it's going to crash anyway just let it do its thing let it work itself out and work through the different things that it's doing in the back end as it's working and moving and the things i don't mod packs are inefficient and just by design um unfortunately it's sad but it's true and because of that um you, you get stuff like this that happens it's not going to crash it's going to eventually work itself out but we just kind of have to sit here and wait. We just kind of have to sit here and wait until it does. And then it will just immediately all start working at one time. So anyway, um, I, I, normally I would wait through something like this. But this one looks like it's going to be a little bit of a longer one. That's okay. We're just going to let it sit here and do its thing. And uh, I'll see you once it is worked itself out. So here we are in game. As you can see, we have spawned in what I'm thinking is a predetermined set spawn area. Um, I will say I did have to restart this world. It seemed like launching it with... Um, with creative kind of caused some issues so um i relaunched it and now we're in survival and things are good but you can definitely see that craft to exile is installed with all these custom you know blocks that we have in here i mean tons and tons of stuff and we've got some custom you know like buildings and things like that as well i think that might even be like a villager or pillager outpost that's been uh amplified so there you have it if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below enjoy craft to exile this is a really really cool mod pack with a lot of awesome features but nevertheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so so much for watching and i'm out peace